here to present to you our project, a data-driven marketing strategy for Tales.com. Tales.com is a company based in the UK, which sells dog's food. And also they supply dog's food in Europe. Along with their main subscription, they would like to increase the number of treats that they sell to their customers. My name is Silvera Justin, and I'm with my colleague already. I, have, I am a Tanzanian, and I have gone to M. Rwanda to do a cooperative uh, master's in mathematical sciences. Also, I've worked as a data scientist for several organizations, the RRA, LSF Tanzania, BFA Global, which is based in the US. In my free time, I love to dance and write poems. Hi, I am Aurélie Jodel Keme. I'm from Cameroon. I did a cooperative master program at Earth Cameroon, and I've worked previously as a software developer at the Climate Application and Prediction Center, where I built a graphic user interface for climatic and meteorology database management. In my free time, I like jogging. We are not alone. We are with our friends, Bear and Poppy. Miss Bear, she lives in the UK. She's a small dog, a Jack uh, Russell breed, five years old at sign up. She weighs 6.8 kgs. She has no allergies, but she has some joint issues. And we have Poppy, she lives in the UK too. She's a toy dog, a vision free breed, uh, 10 years old at sign up, weighs four kgs and has no health problems. Well, Poppy and Bear are very good friends and from time to time they order the same things. So they have both ordered dental dailies and chicken treats. However, Poppy went ahead to order lamb and duck treats. Bear has never seen duck or lamb treats and we're wondering if they're friends what shall we show bear and in which order? That leads us to our problem of making recommendations. Well, we ask ourselves, do you have any treats in your order? If you have some treats in your order, we'd like to show you what you've never seen. And if you say no, we'd like to make you the relevant suggestions, considering you may be a toy or a small or medium or large or a giant. And with that, we took the approach of item-based collaborative filtering. Yeah. As my colleague mentioned, we blew the collaborative filtering system item-based. So here, we took two big steps. The first step was data exploration. We start by cleaning the data. We did what we call standardization by other terms. So here, basically, it's just to give to all customers the same opportunity to purchase. So after that, to put the data on the same scale, we did what we call the standardization by sum of items. So after this step, we set our rating. Our rating scale was from one to five, and we assigned one and two to a customer who order fewer than, and three to a customer who order a number of them around the average, and four and five a customer who order many of them. After we wanted to measure the correlation between the items, for that we use what we call the causal similarity measure. Let's see how it looks like. On my right, that is how the the, the causal similarity formula looks like. And here on my left, for, from the our graph, you can you can see in yellow it means that we have strong correlation. In light blue, we have we have beta correlation and it's dark blue, we have weak correlation. So now remember our goal was to see, should we recommend dog and lamb to bear since Poppy has ordered it. From our recommendation, we saw that dog and lamb came into the three top product to recommend to bear, followed by the pork, the pot item and the pot treat and also all the sopa food treat. Okay, thank you. We took also other approaches, such as the KNRS neighbor. So here it means that for a given product, what are the top three K other products strongly correlated to that product? So here yeah, that is how basically the KNRS neighbor works. And we switch with what we call the singular value decomposition. So here is a machine learning algorithm where you train uh, your data, it will bring you the prediction with the recommendation and the rates. After that, we use what we call the RFM model. 
So here we have the recent see how recent a customer order a product, how frequent he order, and how much does he spend. So here we split our data into cluster using what we call the RFM score search and maybe the most spending customers, the lost customer, and the loyal customers. So after that, we check the accuracy. So here we come out that the cosan similarity was the best model to use because of the accuracy and also was easy to interpret compared to the singular value decomposition and the KNN. Yeah. So what impact does this project have? Yeah, from the company side, it has increased the number of streets that they sell will it to increase their, to increase the income. So also increase the customer's experience and satisfaction. And from our side, increase our knowledge how to approach a business model using data science skill and also our programming skill and business communication and presentation. So also yeah, lead, yeah, that bring us like a networking between the tell.com team and maybe to collaborate more. Thank you. Thank you.